Part three. So after drilling the kingpin hole straight, the next step is to fix the solid steel axle to one of these oak beams. And the solution, like everything else on this design, is beautifully simple, but not necessarily easy. First, you have to route out a half round rebate in the oak beam with this massive 50 millimeter bowl router bit. Then with the steel sitting nicely into this rebate, the next process is keeping it there permanently. And this is done with four stainless steel U-bolts and some custom made black brackets. The U-bolts go all the way through the 125 mm oak and act as a clamp on the axle. But as you can see, it requires some more high precision hole drilling. The stakes are still high because if I don't get these holes perfectly vertical, they could easily miss the pre-drilled holes on those black brackets. Thankfully, these holes went pretty smoothly. I might even be getting quite good at them now. Because the brackets are bent into right angles, they don't have a perfect 90 degree inside corner and didn't sit flat, so I used a round over bit to knock off the corners on the oak beam.
last couple of things left to do was cleaning up the kingpin which had got a little rusty whilst being in the barn and then I had a go at smoothing out this ugly corner of the replacement beam. If you remember in part one, this is the beam that I cut up and decided not to use because of this ugly corner, but then I had to use after messing up a hole on the beam I'd wanted to use in part two. This corner will actually be hidden under the hut, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like, but there's no harm in trying. A few people suggested that I add grease nipples to the turntables. I asked the, the guy that made these and he says, as long as you grease the plates when you assemble it, you don't need to have the nipples. Finally I drilled more holes and in this case I went halfway through from one side before going halfway through from the other side. This ensures that I wouldn't miss the pre-existing holes in the turntable. It doesn't matter if the hole isn't perfectly straight in this scenario as the bolts can flex a little as they go through. I've not been able to find the right kind of stainless steel coach bolts yet, so whilst I hunt them down, I went and picked up some threaded rod to use temporarily.
This nut goes onto the king pin, but I left it off for the moment because I'll need to take all of this apart to sand and finish it. I don't have a, a big enough spanner for this. So. So what do you think? Bear in mind this is without grease and the final hut will be a lot heavier, so I wonder how easy it will be to turn then. And using these chunky cast iron turntables and the full width solid steel axles was not a cheap decision, especially if you factor in the Landover's new output shaft. But having now gone through the whole process of building it, I know for sure it was the right decision. They look great and will certainly outlast all of us. So now I need to get all of that the right way up on these.
So this is what it looks like the right way up, a 360 degree turning front axle made from cast iron, reclaimed oak and solid steel. Easily the most complicated and difficult part of the shepherd's hut, right? The next part will be making the rails that go between the front and back axles. I'm hoping for 6 meters, and I already have the green oak ready to cut, but I'm running out of days I can spend in the EU, so I need to get that sorted first. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As you know by now, I've been using Squarespace for two years and cannot recommend it highly enough. It offers you a multitude of opportunities as a place to showcase your work, be it photography, writing, art, architecture, or as a store to sell physical and digital products or your services. They have different templates you can use depending on your requirements. All you really need is the idea. Plus they have various pricing plans, meaning you can pay for the features you actually need and use. If you go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl Rogers, you can start a free trial and then get 10% off if and when you decide to go live. Thanks for watching.